Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn about how to create a weather app with the help of the React Native. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So basically we are going to create a weather app with the help of the Open Weather API. So let's see. So first of all, we have to go to the up directory of that folder. So I'm going to initiate the weather app. So let me go to my React Native folder and create a new fresh project, weather app. So here it is downloading the templates. It will take hardly one to two minutes to complete setup. So it's almost complete. So here you need to go to the open weather API. This is open weather API. You have to create an account over it and go to our uh, my API keys. You need to get the API keys from here. Okay. And you have to paste it with the API key over here. Okay. So it's installing the dependencies. So it's done CD weather app. Okay. So here we have to install some of the packages that is Ixios and moment. So I'm going to install these two packages. Okay. Let me open the code also. So it's opened. Okay. So here we have to create a one file, which name is api.js. So let's create the api.js file. So here we go with this one. So create a folder or you can create api.js. Okay. So here we have to add this API. Now the, this is the API part where we are fetching the data from the open weather API. So next we have the app.js file. So this is our app.js file. So let me add this one. So I will create a new file whose name is Let's go to the app.tx. I will change the rename this file name because JS. Okay. So I'm going to add it over here and I will change into the app. Same thing I will do here is to be app. Okay. Now it's uncheck the API is here or not. It's linking. So let's try to run it. So we have the details here, data belt. First of all, I need to add the local properties which is missing. So let me add the properties of Android local properties because it's a fresh project. So I need to go with the weather app Android based. I think build is going to be preparing. It will failed because it's not connected with the ADB. Okay, so let me connect with the ADB. So here we are able to connect it. And we will run the reset cache command at the same time. 
you have to run the development server so it's run reload and here we have the city let's enter Chandigarh and get weather so here is the thing you can see Chandigarh temperature is this date August and the timing and temperature is clear sky so you can also check on the Google the same temperature so I will add the Google and I will add the Chandigarh temperature so so where is Chandigarh weather okay so it says a 26 degree and here the same thing is over here 25.9 degrees celsius and clear sky so also you can add any of the temperature over here city so just add the city mohali okay and you can see that the mohali have the few clouds and all okay so this is how we are able to get the react native weather app into your react native so let's go to the code level let's check how we have built this so we have the VS code okay <clears throat> so here you can see that we have import Xios from the Xios here we have the API key how to get this API key you have to create an account over the open weather and here in the section my, uh, my API keys you will get this API key you have to generate the API key right after the generating the API key this is the base URL where it serves the open weather API and here we have the export component for the fetch weather data so first we will hit the api and whatever the data return it will send it to the response dot data okay after this we have a app.js file where we have the ui component okay so we, here we have a moment where we have a fetch data from the api so first we check the city so initialize the state with the city by default it's empty then the weather data so once we have fetched the data from this API, we will set into the weather data with the, with the data of variable. Okay. After the data has been set, then we are pulling down the data from the data. So here you can see styles, weather data dot name, weather data dot system, city, country, temperature, description, and here we have showing the date. Okay so and uh, on the press of you can see when we press on the get weather so it will call the api and store the data into the state which is set weather data and here the last is just a little bit css to get a look of that one okay so main thing is you have to call the api first after calling the api you have to set the data into your respective state and just fetch the data from that state okay so he that is the funder that I am using over here. Any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.